hi welcome to market flow i'm gonna do a quick review of the market and some of the popular stocks like the video subscribe let's go ahead and start so what happened during the market well the dip was but once it hit the 20 moving average bull step up and then push the market all the way to all time highs that has happened in the past right here a few weeks every time there is a dip bulls have come and they have bought it a few things to notice the RSI it's oversold it's starting to make a little bit of divergence but the market can stay overbought for long periods of time just like it did right here and if I scroll back same thing right here long periods of time where the market continued to be overbought and it get extended so that's something to be aware of. there's other times where it reaches this level right here and then it corrects itself so we just have to wait for the sell signal in order to switch sentiment but right now things still looking bullish a little bit overbought extended so th those are the few things that you need to be aware of a few things to pay attention right here and is that we have a first wave right here second fourth and then we're currently doing a fifth wave which i believe will be the last one for this impulsive wave and we may see a large correction from there now this last wave can be caught early on or we can get an extension all the way to 430 now risk to reward as you can see we're in the last wave we're gonna get a correction sometime soon so be aware of that with the error side in the one day it looks positive doing positive momentum so that's still going and that's a good sign right now for the market the spy in the futures i commented it during the week that there is a possibility that we're doing an ending diagonal right here so i was expecting it to come down to the 20 moving average and then make another move higher just like we did today but i'm not exactly sure if we're gonna reach um all the way to the next extension level or we may cut before then and this is just going to be a ending diagonal so that is still in place if it starts breaking above it then it's definitely that we're going to 430 as the next extension level right now with bitcoin uh from what i see it, it's still in a correction in a downtrend i think it's in the fourth wave right here it can either make a little bit high higher highs or it can go back all the way to 29 again and then maybe even below that but that will be the end for this correction that will be the fifth wave after that once it gets out of this channel that will be a good entry you can accumulate bitcoin right here nonetheless but the good entry will be or the signal is once it gets out of this channel it does a back test then that will be a perfect entry right here with oil i think things are still looking very well making higher highs great great opportunity to invest in oil it's a for myself this is a inflation play and i think oil prices are just gonna keep going higher from here so let's see how that goes again now what happened with the what happened with the us dollar so during the week we had a really really good candle right here today it came back it's doing a back test of this support level and it's probably making making time to make another move higher and then retest the 50 moving average that's what i can see technically that it's reversing right here you can see that back test perhaps it's getting ready to make another move higher that will put a lot of pressure on the market just like you saw on minerals like gold and silver be aware of that there's still positive momentum right here so gold same thing as well um it looks like this was the end of the move right here um uh, it's doing a back test of what it used to be support right here now it's resistance 
so many traders right now who were long on the gold they're probably taking profits and then my intuition is that it's coming all the way to 1800s to the 50 moving average before it starts bouncing and then that will be a backtest of this downtrend as well so with the treasury yield right now ever since he made this height it's been consolidating sideways looking a little bit like a bull flag in a way so negative divergence but the momentum to the downside it's fading as you can see right here and anytime it can make another move higher right here it got rejected from the 50 moving average that's not very bullish and it almost looks like this is a head and shoulders right here so unless it starts breaking major resistance levels like this one right here unless it starts breaking above it then i think that's where um people can start worry about it uh, but for right now straight in sideways okay so with the nasdaq right now it made a reversal right here this is a bullish candle very bullish candle it's enclosing all the trading of the week right here closing all-time highs it's very likely that we're coming to retest the heights that we had in the past at least to the 400 the 14,000 level so if i go to the qq here we're going to come at least to the 400 level that's going to be the next target and then we'll see if we can get above it so oil it's breaking out right now and as well the energy sector along with it and if i go here you can see that very clear right here and this is a cup and handle that's what the pattern looks like it looks like it's a cup and handle if this pattern were to play out our next target should be somewhere down here about 62 now with the finance sector it looks like it's very very extended but it still has positive momentum on the other side and it's still making higher highs it just broke out so i think the whole market in general looks very bullish right now that makes me think that the 430 for the spy should be coming up soon but at this point this is my review of the market i'm gonna go ahead and review a few other major stocks and see what they look like okay so amazon right here is keeps moving sideways there is really not much about it except that it's consolidating for a very long time this is just a sign that um earnings and future growth it's probably already priced on the stock price um just consolidating consolidating i mean best time to buy is definitely when it gets around this point about 28.80 and then take it all the way to the high and then if it breaks out you you go with it but right now there's um you know you're right here in the middle of the range um there's really not much to say it can be doing an abc right here and it's coming all the way down so that's what amazon looks like same thing with netflix the whole thing looks like that for the most part trading sideways as well uh right here there you go so this is the range right here where it's trading so facebook here uh i had a target of 343 not sure if it's gonna get there how do i get that target well that's the range from the wedge right here this is the part where it breaks out so that's the target that i have um but it looks like it's almost doing like a double top right here negative divergence now because this one is higher than this one but they're about the same distance so there's negative divergence um it looks like the move the majority of the move has already been played already so let's go ahead and review apple right now it's consolidating right here in this triangle uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna make higher highs anytime soon this is the first let's count the waves right here so this is the first wave started right here one two three four and then it's gonna come all the way here to 
um, 130 that's my thought he comes here to 130 and then that's perhaps where the correction is going to come in place if otherwise it may just continue making higher highs so we'll see but the distance from the open of the wedge is right here so if it breaks somewhere down here uh, maybe in the end of june at the end of the month or somewhere down there then it's gonna come all the way down here to 96 and then that will close this gap right here so i mean this is the bearish the bearish um sentiment here currently right now looking bullish short term probably gonna go all the way to 130 um but it still has to pass above all these moving averages so that's apple right there amd looking more bullish than the fang right now it bounced from here there was an announcement of a buyback of shares so it has done right now it went all the way to 83 it's still gathering momentum positive divergence so nvidia just announced a stock split i had a video of that from last week so if you watch the video and make the trade congratulations because he has been very very profitable trade and my target right now it's 738 that's the next extension level fibonacci level and then from there it can start coiling for another another higher high i mean nvidia is a great company it's the leading company in many fields like ai and graphics cars gaming and so on so even though the company in paper looks overvalued i think there's a lot of investors who are passionate about the brand and you can see how it's breaking out right here back tested previous heights and now it's moving very very impulsive this was definitely a good trade tesla oh well, tesla still trading right here within this range he back tested it again um this 560 level 66 level and it starts making positive momentum on the error side i can see it going along with the market and at least back testing the 50 moving average anytime soon i think things look positive in the short term and i think that's it for today thank you for watching have a good day um, there is going to be an announcement later today about the stocks that are going to be added to the Russell. That is going to be a positive catalyst for some of those stocks. I myself made a few positions on them um, during the week. And so let's see how that works out. Thank you for watching and have a good day. You call, you call um, the various guys who cover the bonds and you say, to ignore the bond action. What's really happened is the Fed is very frightened about, and then you gin up the number that they're really frightened about. The Fed is actually... Um, desperate to try to figure out uh, you know how quickly they have to cut without looking like dopes that they that they raised right, because they've been talking about they're worried yeah, about inflation all this you don't want to you don't want to raise in may and then cut in, in january you look like mexico for heaven's sake